Hi, my name is Roman Alexander XG. Start this video with a hi, and this video with a goodbye. Uh, wait, no. Hi, my name is Roman Alexander XG. Start this video with a hi, gay. See, I'm gay. It's okay. And I did a 30 minute workout, two miles sweat at home because, as you can see, dun, 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 dun. I'm obesities. But I can still walk around and be myself, bitch. No, I did the workout and I'm fine. And I closed the, the blind because there's a, there's a man next door who, when his wife went for 15 days to fucking El Salvador, his bitch ass came drunk, knocking on the fucking door, Jose Pedro Alberon Lopez, motherfucker. He came knocking on the door, asking for my mom's phone number. Your wife has it. Ask her for the number. Duh, duh, you're not gonna ask your fucking wife for the number, bitch. The fuck? Because you're supposedly married, and she supposedly has cancer. And that's why you both aren't working. And that's why she sort of cares about you when you go out drunk and stay on the street, bitch. With other homeless drunkards, bitch. And that's why you got your fucking truck broken into, bitch. Bitch. Not by me, sadly, but by somebody else. And I said, Bitch. No, but I recently called my psychiatrist and I was looking for the number online. And unfortunately, they don't have the West County Behavioral Health Clinic. Um, West County Behavioral Health Clinic for adults that's near West County Health Center. The number, they don't have it online. They only have the Martinez number. So, that was shocking. No, but I actually had the number saved in my contacts. And I called him. And it sounded like an intern. I was like, I, I, on the side, I was like, she's probably an intern. And so, yeah, I was supposed to work at Bath and Body Works. No, it's not their fault. It's my fault. Because I woke up late. And I was arriving there late. But I texted the manager and told her that I was going to be there late, so. And then I had this freaking assistant manager call. She's like, hey, this is Teresa from the fucking BBW, Bath and Body Works. And uh, do you know you're scheduled? I was like, bitch, I texted freaking Ashley already. You don't gotta call me acting like I'm a dumbass. And that's why I didn't walk in, because I was not about to be humiliated and scolded in front of everybody else. Which, mind you, there are people that take advantage of certain types of jobs, and they're always late or never show up. And I showed up two or three times already. One for the, hire, for the interview, one to bring in my paperwork, and then the other one for the training. So, technically, I'm going to get paid for those things. But at the same time, I need a job that's motherfucking flexible and motherfucking stable. Because I'm going to go to motherfucking school for my motherfucking passions. Which is acting. Which is drama. Because I love drama. Do you know that I watch RuPaul now? I'm on season four. I know this bitch does not have Paramount Plus. That bitch, that shit is expensive. Well, not yet. I'm going to buy Paramount Plus. Then it's going to be called Zomariana Plus. If I, if I were a drag queen, my, my drag name would be Zomariana Piraña. Zomariana Piraña. Because, yeah, that's it. Oh. oh, yeah, and then I also called the freaking West County Health Clinic. It was County Behavioral Adult Mental Health Clinic or whatever the fuck their name is. And then an it, she was like, hello, this is Booby Dibabu Boop. What's your name? What can I help you with? And I said, hi, I've been trying to contact, I've been trying to wait for an appointment for Dr. Portman for a while, and he hasn't called me at all. And on the days that he's supposed to, he doesn't call. And so then he made an appointment, and then she said, uh, towards the end, if he doesn't call you five to ten minutes after the appointment date, like, on the day of the appointment, like, ten to twenty, five to ten minutes, the time that he's supposed to call me, if he doesn't call me then, then I have to call the clinic in order for him to be connected to me. I'm like, bruh, 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 bruh. Aren't you supposed to be connected to me either way? And I'm chubby. Be, 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 be. I made a vegan lasagna. I, I don't think it helps that I added vegan cream cheese instead of vegan ricotta. I could not find vegan ricotta. Fuck vegan ricotta. And instead of using the noodles, which cause a lot of fattening, I uh, use eggplant. 
It's not my favorite, but it's healthy. Also, eggplant has a lot of fiber, a lot of nutrients. It's water dense, so if you're going through like swelling or edemas or whatever the fuck, I feel like eggplant. I'm gonna look up what. Alexa, sube volumen a 10. Alexa, ¿para qué sirven las berenjenas? Una bandera es una pieza de tela, normalmente rectangular, aunque puede adoptar formas muy variadas, que se sujeta por uno de sus lados a un asta o se cuelga de una drisa. Se utiliza para identificar o representar a una persona o grupo de personas. También puede servir para transmitir señales para comunicarse. El estudio de las banderas se conoce como... Alexa, stop. Did you notice how I asked her about eggplants? And she said... She, uh, I said berenjena. I never said bandera. But then I'm gonna have the pride flag right over here, so... <laughs> Looking at my hand. Jiggle, jiggle. Um, yeah, I need, I, I need a shower. But yeah, what the fuck? Y'all tripping booty holes. Y'all tripping ass. You know what I'm gonna do for my YouTube channel? So, vlogs. Story times. Maybe a mukbangs because I'm beating healthy. Or I'll just be eating healthy. I'll just be eating in general. And then also song covers. I don't know. The, the song I really want to do right now is Flowers by Miley Cyrus. And then I'm going to go to freaking school for... Um, I'm so happy too because since I was like 18, 17, 18, or 19, 17. I'm going to say 17. 17 or 18. Since I was in high school, basically. Since I was introduced to the, in, to the musical world of Marx Brothers, Animal Crackers Musical. Ever since having that leading role in high school. Oh, back in my six, seven years ago glory days. Uh, <laughs> I've been obsessed with how musicians go about, like, Doja Cat and everybody, like, you know how some, how Doja Cat started was very inspiring and interesting that at 24, I want to, I still want to go for it. I still want to go and study acting and musical theater because that's, even if I, because I'm going to be focusing on my acting career 60% and then 40% on the side, I'm going to be doing, like, music projects and stuff. I'll be making my own music and uploading it and do it I have to start from somewhere and if I don't like if I don't get properly informed or you know just stuff like that so my goal is in community college at Diablo Valley College I want to learn not only acting professionally but also take the classes as well as get the, the drama slash theater arts AA degree for transfer um whether it's going to be at USC School of Dramatic Arts Cal State East Bay and Hayward or those are the only two main options I have right now I don't really want to go anywhere else because I've done my research into both USC has the on the BFA for on stage and screen and that's my that's what I want to do acting and I also want to since I will be telling the stories of other people through my myself if I ever get like if I get once I get cast in uh, the role if I'm gonna be telling the stories of other people, I want to also convey and tell my own stories and create my own world in my own music. Cause I can, bitch can sing. I just need to practice more and more and more. I practice more and I want to also learn how to make my own music. And if it all goes well, I will also want to learn not only the business of acting, but also the music industry entrepreneurship which will prepare me for being an independent music creator or actor slash musician, basically. But I don't play any instruments. I do not play instruments. The thing is with that, the digital audio workstations like Pro Tools or, you know, Loop or whatever, whatever musical, whatever DAW um, thing, Whatever program, they usually already have built-in recordings of the instruments. So then someone like me can manipulate it and create my own thing. But I need to go to school and learn how to do it. Because that shit sounds difficult as fuck. But I've been trying to learn since I was in the afterlife when I heard people saying, Oh, on the side of acting, I also create music. And I'm just like, that sounds fucking cool, man. I want to do that too. Did you know that Sia did not get, get her number one, her not, she's not, spasm. I'm about to spaz out. 
No. Sia did not get her breakthrough song off the number one onto the number one charts or whatever the fuck until she was 41 years old. I'm 24, so there's time for me. <laughs> but I'm trying to I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to get I'm trying to get get my face deep puffed. I'm trying to look like a motherfucking skinny boy. And even if I don't, well, I'm a sick boy. <laughs> but yeah, I want to focus. I want to do the theater, the d drama slash theater arts, associate in arts degree for transfer. And then I also want to focus on what else? Oh, yeah, getting the Certificate of Achievement for acting in musical theater because both have similar courses as well as small business management slash entrepreneurship and music industry entrepreneurship because both of those have similar classes or courses, my bad. And so that would be easier instead of getting music industry studies, I would get music industry entrepreneurship and then small business management slash entrepreneurship not only for acting, but if I ever like wanna start. Once I get the hang of <laughs> making music or collaborating with other people and I wanna release music on the side of my acting project because I know that with, sometimes with acting, it depends on how big the project is or how big the marketing is or if they tell you to market it or whatever, then it's gonna be basically the same thing for music. So also, it's crazy to think that I want to do acting and singing, songwriting, digitally, electronically producing. That's fucking crazy. Who would have ever thought? I guess not only then, not only because of the musical in, in high school, but also because I was in a queer musical in San Francisco and we did a short film on the side of it and also recorded our songs. I never really got to hear our song, but I did get a copy of the short film and I used it for my acting clip acting clips slash reel it wouldn't be a reel because it's not really complete but it's my acting clips acting demo reel and yeah i'm I'm really excited because i felt for a long time that not only do i want to do acting but i also want to create music and even if it's not received just like with acting if it's not received even it whether it's received in a negative light whether it's received for a few people, a few hundreds, a few tens, twenties, thirty people, forty people, fifty people, few if it gets to a hundreds, if it gets to a thousand, if it gets to millions or whatever, then that would be great because I don't come from a place of privilege and I guess my biggest inspirations would be RuPaul. RuPaul Charles, because he even said himself to never limit yourself. And even though it's not going to be easy and at 24, it's not uh, 24. It is not ever whatever age you're in. It's no, nothing will ever be easy. It's already hard for somebody to break into the music industry. It's already hard for somebody to break into the acting business. So for me to be doing two things. It sounds fucking ridiculous, right? But the way I see it is, why would I limit myself? If I like music, why would I limit myself to just making movies or TV shows? And even if I were making movies, TV shows, and being in musicals or being in plays, theatrical, Shakespeare, whatever the fuck, whatever the hell, why do you think I want to limit myself? This, our... Our life is so fucking short and I also was stressing out so much on this YouTube channel because I was stressing out about what content I was going to make for now because right now I can't make, I can't really, I don't have time to focus on comedic commentary, reaction slash comedic commentary because it takes so much time and planning. I can do one on my phone for sure because I have another phone here. So 
for me to say, oh, I can't do com commentary, I can. But just like the Lohanthony video, I want to do my research. I want to do the later on, of course. Right now, I just want to do vlogs and song covers just to keep consistency going because I haven't been able to. And this is a vision board that I made not that long ago, a year ago, probably. And I had the Wizard of Oz because the Wizard of Oz is my inspiration. And I was also in a production of it. Funnily enough, I never watched the Wizard of Oz until my senior year of high school. And I'm not kidding. And once I watched it, I fell in love with it so much. I fucking love that movie so much. And I see why a lot of people fall in love with it. And I see why the gays love it. Fucking Judy Garland. She's a queen. She's a fucking queen. Um, it sucks that her life was cut short, too. Um, I got Lil Nas X. I got Doja Cat. I got Lizzo. And basically, what Lil Nas X, Doja Cat, and Lizzo, for me, what they mean and what they resonate for me is that wherever you come from, whatever you do, whatever you did, um, it's not, I wouldn't have to say it's irrelevant, but I would say that it's very important to who you will become like they did. Lil Nas X wasn't, didn't come out um, of the closet until 2019, I think? No, 2020, 2021. I don't remember when, but he... But when he came out, a lot of rappers, a lot of people started to, you know, hate on him. And that shows you the amount of homophobia and bullshit in this world. Also, he doesn't make his own music. He bought a track that another, that a producer uploaded so that people that want to sing over it can buy it on BeatStars. And he basically, what is the word that they say? Souped it up? Because I remember watching videos on like how they soup up uh, conjure oils. <laughs> like by soup up, they mean like add their own flavor, add their own spin to it. So they, they he souped it up um, and made it his own. Doja Cat literally learned how to fucking make music on her own. And I'm still struggling to do that because my computer, my MacBook Pro is 12 years old. Even though they said it was 2015, no bitch, that shit is 2012. They fucking misled me and lied on fucking Amazon. And that's why they were selling it for $800. Not because it was brand new, not because it was this. Make sure when you buy something off of Amazon, it was not used, no. It was just, I, th I feel like it was purchased and they kept it aside until somebody else bought it for a little bit less, but they still kept like it was probably way less of an amount of money than how do i explain it it probably cost way less and then the people that were selling it on amazon priced it up for way more so they kept the profit of the actual well no they they repocketed the money from the actual cost of the macbook and then they also kept the rest of the money that they earned and then they pocketed it. Does that make sense? Job shipping. Blah, blah, blah. Uh. And then I have Lizzo, who besides her overweightness, she's still fucking killing it with her beautiful ass voice. And why do people say when Adele lost weight that she lost part of her voice? Bitch, she lost weight for health reasons. And I'm not shaming on fat people, but I'm fat too. And being obese, being fat, is not a fucking way to live. Because this shit is fucking heavy. And a lot of people with their weight, it's genetics. Sometimes they can't control it. Sometimes they were born that way. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's fucking genetics. Oh. My sister goes here. And not only has she inspired me to continue on and further my education, but by furthering my education, I not only get to do what I love with acting, but I also get to learn a lot about the music industry. And I don't have that. A, a lot of people never had that luxury of going to school and learning about it. And I want to do it. That's a challenge for myself. Because even though I do not like being on social media that much, 
if I can promote and do, if I can, if I can go on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or whatever the fuck, and to, on and on TikTok and promote whatever the fuck I'm working on, like TV show, movie, stage production, film, whatever. If I could do that or song, if I could promote whatever the fuck I'm doing, instead of letting people in on my personal life. Because sometimes, if it's personal, personal, it's another business. But if it's, like, something that I want to share, sure, that's fine. But, I need Mama! 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 Hey, where you go? Mama! She gave me body yaddy yaddy. She gave me body yaddy yaddy! And she left. Instead of promoting, like, personal things or whatever, you can promote... The good part of life sometimes, because not everything in life is pitch perfect, like how some people make it to make it to be. And honestly, that's okay. We're not all perfect. Right now, my apartment is back to being a little bit of a mess, but me and my mom are gonna fucking clean it up. This shirt is soaked and sweat. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do the same shit again. Right now, I'm just gonna heat up my vegan eggplant lasagna and watch RuPaul. While looking for work. Cause I'm that type of gay. You thought I was gonna say the N-word? No, that's not me. I am not Rachel Dolezal. Motherfucker. Uh, ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> I look like an obese drag queen. That her name is Matilda Poopins. Yeah. Yeah, queens, I'm gonna go there. But yeah, I feel like I have to vent because sometimes you just have to vent. You have to let it out. Oh, that felt good. Okay. Started this video with a hi gay and this video with a bye gay. No. Started this video with a hi gay and this video with a bye bitch now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and understand that since I don't have a computer, I can't edit. And I've tried editing on my iPhone. It doesn't let me. And you're probably thinking, Omar, with so many adversities and so many things going in your life, and for you to finally find what you are passionate about, and for you to finally find a structure and a plan to commit to it, I still need to get a job. I still need to work on my health. My mental health. My physical health. Because if your mental health is not in check, your physical health is going to show. And yeah. I need to take my medication. Um, this ain't no sob story, bitch. Be happy, bitch. Live every freaking day like if it was your last. That's why I'm doing what I want. What I'm doing. That's why I'm doing what I really want to. Also, I've been watching a lot of dead meat. I fucking love dead meat. Um, and also I love sometimes on occasion when it's only Michael McCrudden before they were famous because it gets me inspired and inspirational and motivational. Yeah. So if you ever feel, if you ever feel limited to what you can do to this world, providing stories and storytelling, just know that. Okay. So before I, before I forget, my inspiration for music is Billie Eilish, Melanie Martinez, Ariana Grande, Ash Nico. Am I missing someone? Black Eyed Peas. Because I love Will I Am, Apple Diab, that other guy that's probably Hispanic, and Fergalicious Fergie. And even right now, I still love them because they make really good, dope ass, bomb ass music. Sorry, I'm always gonna. If I was a fan of the Black Eyed Peas way back then when I was little, I'm still gonna be a fan now. So people can talk shit about whether the music sounds crappy or whatever. Bitch, it's Black Eyed Peas. Appreciate it. They came back from a long ass fucking hiatus to continue making music for ungrateful ass people. And people are gonna just fucking shit on it? Okay, not every fucking artist is gonna have like the best fucking music ever. Not every time. I feel like most of the comments are from incels, which is sad. Incel, go to your mother and tell her your problems. She might kick you out. She don't wanna hear shit like that. She trying to live her old life in peace. Leave her alone. And do I look like a donkey? Yes, because I need Invisalign or braces. This reminds me of the scene from Shark Boy and Love Girl when Shark Boy's like, ding, 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 ding. you know.
Stop. But yeah, I'm gonna watch RuPaul. He done my vegan eggplant lasagna. Yeah, yeah. It's not as the same as normal plant. No. It's not the same as fucking noodle lasagna. Lasagna. No. It's more chewier. Also more cruciferous. Not cruciferous. That's veg that's that's leafy greens like lettuce and cabbage. If you ever have that denying voice inside your head try to tell you to know try to tell you to know try to tries to know to tell you try to tell you to know is this what an aneurysm is breaking news omar alexander x street no no aneurysm is serious hey this is what i have to deal with on a daily basis with my mental health random ass shit that i didn't realize is not fucking jokes bitch no but and you're probably thinking, why are you fucking watching Dead Meat and horror movies and horror TV shows? Uh, I'm a raging homosexual. Because I can kind of sympathize with either the villains or the heroes of the movie. Because homosexuality and LGBTQ plus people feel like the freaks. And sometimes whenever they see themselves as the hero in the movie, they see themselves as ignored mistreated pushed aside like when the 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 villain of the horror movies tries to get at them and then sometimes the lgbtq plus kind of familiarizes and sympathizes themselves with the villains of the horror movies because society has done that to us and so Sometimes there's a release in horror movies. Sometimes above and beyond than what we expect. Not because of the killer tendencies of the horror movie villain. But because it's horror. I don't know how to explain that. Not because of the killer tendencies of the horror movie villain. But because of the... I guess... The, the scary chase scenes the moments where you're like you're the dumb bitch that's gonna go into that room are you and they do um sometimes the representation sometimes because of the the horror cliches and stereotypes like the dumb blonde the dumb blonde that's not avert that's about to lose her virginity and die <laughs> the black person that dies first the gay guy or girl or non-binary person that's next so yeah i mean there's a lot of stuff okay and chucky to me is an lgbtq plus icon and in season two episode one he did say i am not homophobic he just does not like jake or Devin or lexi and if you've seen the whole season two he doesn't like lexi's mom either I think her mentality has split in half. Too soon? No? From her, um, her opinion, I think L Lexi's mom, uh, her opinions, they've gone like this. And it kind of resembles her fate at the end of that season. Too soon, huh? Season three got renewed, yay! I wanted to be in season one so bad, but I need to build up my credits for acting. Because they're not going to take another motherfucking noob. What the fuck? They're not going to take a noob. So I just did it behind this video. Goodbye, bitch. Bye, bitch. And this video is goodbye. Comment, like, subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you, can be, so you can be notified when I upload my videos, which is Friday and Saturday. Friday vlogs, Saturday song covers. They're unedited because I don't have a computer. And also my phone sucks. Bye!